Hey guys, it's Wes, not your normal miner here. Today I got a fun one for you. This is by community request. We did get that Zotac Trinity RTX 3080 into our gaming editing mining rig, and we're going to be doing a little benchmarking for you on NiceHash. That's right, by community request. Uh, in the description down below, we're going to have links to everything. I'm always going to tell you, do your own research. If you guys are new to the channel, this is a great time to get subscribed to the channel. Also, always hit that thumbs up if you like this. Comment down below, tell, you, tell us why. If you guys like us testing these, and you want to see the channel continue to test some of these next-gen GPUs so you guys can decide for yourself without having to spend all this extra money, whether they're good or not, comment down below and tell us why. And when we say real-world numbers, we've actually got two of these RTX 3080s on hand. That's right, we did secure an NVIDIA Founders Edition RTX 3080 as well as this Zotac Trinity. We did get those on the same mining rig and that was using Hive OS in the upper right hand corner. I've got a link to that so you guys can check that out. We did that live. It was pretty great. Once again, I don't know of anyone else that actually has two different RTX 3080s on hand and is able to do any comparisons like this side by side. We are using nice hash for this benchmark. You guys requested this. Description down below will have links to everything. I am also using MSI Afterburner to control our overclocks. You guys don't brick these GPUs. Do your own research. We are a cryptocurrency mining based channel. We focus on pool testings, overclock setting testings, minor program testings, how to, solo mining. We did build our remote garden location so we could show you guys everything we did as far as scaling up. So multiple GPU and ASIC mining rigs. But yeah, when we say real world numbers, that's right. These are real world. These two GPUs are in our hand and we are able to compare them side by side couple things right out of the gate i'm not a fan of the nvidia that founders edition cooling those two fans just don't cut it i see that thing running 100 percent fan speeds way way too often the zotac on the other hand runs ice cold with those three fans i love it on the flip side i am able to get a lot more overclocks on the nvidia in um, msi afterburner on the windows rig and the Zotac does not like any of that. So that's what we're here today, guys. We're going to be breaking to you the Zotac Trinity. We are having the RTX 3080 benchmarking and high uh, nice hash. In the description down below, we got links to all this stuff. Here's dashboard side on their web browser. But that's not what we're using today. We are actually using their application. We're using MSI Afterburner. And up there on their dashboard, you can start mining right out of the gate. Um, or you can come here and click benchmark. And that's what we've done. We've shown you some benchmarks. One of the things I found is the memory on this Zotac, I can't take much more than 750. I also found 75% power limit makes this thing run stable on Windows. We're able to run stable at 210 on the power limit. So I know there's a lot of Windows guys on here telling me we should be hashing better on Windows. All these guys that are getting 100 mega hash per second on their GPUs, I think if they threw them on Hive OS, I think they'd be getting better results right now. Fight me over that. Comment down below and tell me. But once again, I'm showing you real world numbers. And until you guys can show me real world numbers different, this is what we're going with. This is what we've got. So, 75 power limit, 500 on the memory. That's 240 watts at the wall. We're getting 87 mega hash per second. Claymore, 81 mega hash per second. Phoenix, and on that Grin 29, we're getting 13 graphs per second. Let's show you guys a couple other overclock settings here. So, power limit of 75, memory of zero. So, this is kind of stock at 240. You are seeing 85 mega hash per second on Dagger, 88 as far as Claymore goes, 84 plus on Phoenix. And that Grin, you're getting 13 graphs per second plus on that Grin 29. So let's head down here to 75% power, which is 240 watts at 750 on the memory. And what you're going to see here is 88 mega hash per second on Claymore, 88 mega hash per second on Phoenix, and then we've got 14 graphs a second on that Grin 29. Power limit 100%. And guys, the drivers aren't set for these. The miners aren't set for these. The devs don't have their hands on. Nobody's got these yet. So these overclocks aren't right. And once again, I am not an overclocking expert. I don't claim to be. Just trying to benchmark some early numbers for you guys so you guys can do your own research. 750 memory, power limit of 100%. And a lot of times this starts to affect us, but you can see we only get 89 mega hash per second on Claymore and Phoenix, and we're at 15 plus on that Grin 29. Last overclock setting I want to show you here, we did set it at 575, 
and show you these benchmarks 89 89 Phoenix and Claymore respectively and on that Grin 29 14 so like I said guys in the description down below we've got links to all this stuff we've been trying to give you guys some decent benchmarks on these you're going to be able to compare those to the Nvidia we did also do this on awesome miner so I've got great benchmarking videos coming out keep an eye out if you guys want to support the channel a couple ways you can do that in the description down below you're going to be able to follow us over on Twitter you can keep up with our latest and greatest you can also find our discord not your normal miner discord this is the easiest way to get in touch with us our little hashers say you better follow us at not your normal miner discord because you can keep up with our latest and greatest we do also do some ASIC mining over there if you want to support the channel because you guys do know that we are not monetized we do not have super chats and we do not use affiliate links a couple ways you can do that in discord you can go over to the water cooler and we do have these hodl bitcoin um, license plates these are metal and we will ship these anywhere in the u.s for free that's over at the water cooler also you can support the channel by heading over to not your more normal miner nyms hash merch market and you can get some of that bitcoin accepted swag here if you want to send us some of your favorite coins so we can hodl them i do got to send a thank you to nemesis and crypto macau for pointing us in the direction of coinrequest.io it just kind of cleans up those addresses for us but wrapping up today we've been giving you benchmarking on nice hash with this rtx 3080 this is the zotac trinity we have found that we do not get as good results on Windows as we do mining on Hive OS. Please comment down below. Tell me what you think if we're not getting our overclocks right or not. But once again, guys, I've got two of these GPUs, these RTX 3080s that we've been able to go side by side with. And I have had them both in this gaming editing mining rig. So once again, my name's Wes. I'm not your normal miner. We're wrapping up our benchmarking in NiceHash with the RTX. Zotac 3080. Thank you.